Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. And today, I've got a very special review for you guys. This is the review of the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Earth figure. And uh, some of you may be looking at this thing going like, Hang on, didn't you review this one already? Uh, no, that would be the uh, Godzilla Phileas figure, <laughs> which is this one here. Um, and um, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second, but... Uh, Godzilla Earth is, of course, from the uh, Netflix distributed anime series. So um, we got uh, Godzilla, um, Go Godzilla Planet of the Monsters, the first part of that. Then Godzilla City on the Edge of the Battle, and then recently we had Godzilla the Planet Eater. So that whole trilogy uh, centered around this Godzilla here. Although, um, some might say he was a little underrepresented in that, um, in screen time and, and stuff in that, that series. And, uh, you know, I'm going to touch on that stuff in a review that I do of that whole series. But, um, yeah, let's get to this Godzilla himself. Uh, so, this Godzilla is the biggest Godzilla, um, that we've seen on screen. Um, he measures like 300 and something meters, I don't even remember. But, um, huge, huge creature. In fact, um, for those of you guys who have seen the film, which I'm guessing should be most of you, you'd have known that Godzilla Phileas, or, or, or this Godzilla when he was, uh, younger, um, uh, measured 50 meters. So, uh, this guy is basically this scale as a 50 meter Godzilla next to this thing. So, <laughs> wow. Um... You, so let's get into the the uh, figure himself. So just like the Godzilla Phileas figure um, that I reviewed uh, a while ago, um, this thing is basically the exact same figure with some um, minor sculpt details, and it's a complete repaint. And um, it does come with a couple of accessories as seen here. We'll look at those in a sec. But let's um, go over the details of this thing. So, as you can see, just like um, the Phileas figure, Godzilla Earth sculpt is immaculate. It is, you know, really on point in being screen accurate. Um, they actually uh, used, and I brought this up in my review, I'm not going to go too in-depth because I did talk about all this with the review of this guy, but um, they, they did use the CGI model from the film as, uh, you know, the actual, like, a 3D printed version they used of that to basically engineer and build this figure. But you can see, um, you know, there's the, the sculpted detail on this thing is really immaculate. Um, the fine lines and the texture in this thing is brought out really beautifully here, all the way down to the tip of the tail. So this is my favorite thing about Monster Arts is their sculpts. They're always so immaculate. And we do get this uh, new chin here, and I really do uh, like the look of this thing, because um, uh, I really loved Phil uh, Phileas here, but having that extra added detail and that extra, you know, design that makes it just a bit different and stands out a little bit more is really cool on this thing. And um, also noticeably, you'd see the color difference here. Uh, between the two. So we're going to do a nice little comparison between these two uh, throughout our review because because um, uh, basically, like I said, this thing is very close to this one but it is just a repaint with a new jaw. Um, so let's, let's talk about the paintwork. Uh, in my un unboxing of this thing I said it was a little less metallic in person than in some of the reviews uh, what I've seen. And that's still kind of true, but then again, I, I was actually very, um, when I was looking at it in the unboxing, I hadn't looked at it properly because, of course, I just um, just took it out of the box and I was filming it for you guys. 
and so was backlit for me so it's very dark looking so I couldn't really get to see it very well but after spending some time with it it is um, it is kind of shiny and metallic uh, if you really uh, look at it and you can see the original one is more of sort of a foresty dark forest green it has this sort of orangey tongue black eyes and this really beautiful um, sort of uh, shaded uh, green and black glossy color on his spines which I really loved about this one I've heard a lot of people just instantly say they prefer the paint job on on um, Godzilla Earth here compared to Phileas and I, I feel kind of mixed between the two because they both have their pros and their cons like this guy's more bluey more of a really gray blue metallic color very similar to those Bandai vinyls we saw of this thing whereas I, I really liked that this guy was kind of green because he did look a bit greenish and orangish in different shots in the, the film but he also did look blue as well in some shots so it really depends on <laughs> what sequence you're trying to recreate but of course the the main thing is he has this nice uh, nice new jaw in here um you can see he's got this sort of he's got a, a gr sort of grayish color on his tongue as well and his spines are really lovely they're a very metallic silvery color um looks pretty bright for you guys on screen right now in person they're a little less uh, visible uh, but you can see he's got even these sort of blue there we go blue highlights in areas like these on, on the legs and just little spots that really make the coloring pop on this guy which I really like so if you do spend some time looking at him you will notice uh, variations in the color this sort of greenish bluey aqua metallic colors over this sort of gray black does um, make him stand out quite a bit um, the only negative thing I'll say about his paint job um, aside from it being very dark, which is, you know, accurate to the film, is if we take a nice close look at his face, um, you look at his eyes. Now, because we have some nice uh, lighting here, his face does pop out really nicely and it does look really cool. However, in more natural lighting, when you're looking at this thing, you'll notice uh, the head is, and the head and the jaw is all the same color. It's very uniform. Uh, granted, it works well. <laughs> it's the same color as the base of the whole body and everything. But they didn't... Uh, by the looks of it, the eyes and uh, are completely the same color as the body. So um, that's a little disappointing because it is noticeable in person. And it is better than having a wonky eye, I will admit, uh, compared to some figures. But what I really liked about uh, Godzilla Phileas here is that he does have the black pupils that they are actually painted in now in the film um, this Godzilla should have blue eyes um, but you know I guess they just went with the easy option because people tend to complain about the eyes on monster arts figures because they're really picky about those uh, so they just wanted to play it safe and I guess that's what they went with other than that however um, yeah it's a very nice nice paint job and it, it, you can notice the difference between the two from a distance. They they feel very different as figures, as you can kind of see here. Well, they're nice and in focus for you guys. Uh, the articulation on these two is almost identical. It is, um, you know, brilliantly done. I think they, you know, really outdid themselves with these figures. So aside from these, like, little pointy bits that sort of are kind of permanent here, I wish they sort of pressed them more towards the body, because, I mean, no one's posing there. The Godzilla figures facing down, the tails facing down this way. So you could have made these gaps a little less apparent on the figure, I believe. But, you know, not the biggest deal. It's not really all that noticeable when you're looking at it. And it's kind of cool, especially the way the tail moves sideways. It's done really beautifully with this sort of sculpt here. Very organic-like. It look, Just look how far that bends. That's why I really love Monster Arts figures, because... Um, no other no other uh, kaiju figures can quite do what they do and look as good as they look uh, especially accuracy wise but um uh, so yeah it's pretty much the same as that one the head can you know I'm not gonna spend too long on the uh, you know, articulation because most people know what they're getting into I mean this is a repaint but you know really good range of it and the, the jaw unfortunately doesn't open very far that's another little downside 
Um, also not a big deal, but I wish it did open a little further. So that's about as far as it'll go. It's got a really, really quirky smile, this this particular Godzilla. It's such a weird design. Um, I've really grown to, 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 to love this design, actually. Um, I know a lot of people still hate it, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I don't know why, I just really like it. And it's funny, because I'm one of those people that really is not a fan of the 2014 design. Uh, it's one of my least favorite designs, and I know people really love that design. But this one's kind of based on it, but I think something about it I just like a lot more. But, you know, the, the one that's coming out in the, um, the updates they did to 2014 for the upcoming King of the Monsters film uh, do, do look really good, and I'm really hyped for that, seeing that Godzilla in action. But we're talking about this thing right now. So, uh, the only other thing is that these little sort of flaps that they got going here, uh, they're a lot more secured. I don't know what they did exactly, but they're not flapping around as much as they are on this thing, where they're just doing that. They still, I don't know, they still flap around, but I haven't had any problems with them getting well, lost, and they just seem to sit a little better. So that's really good. All the joints are secure. You can, you know, pose the tail any way. Like initially with some of their really nice flexible tails that they were doing on on their Godzilla figures with monster arts, they're having some issues with, um, you know, tails just flopping down. Like with uh, Shin Godzilla and um, Godzilla um, Millennium and, and those sort of ones, they were beautiful figures, but the, the, the articulation for the tails still needs some work. And they've really gotten there. They figured out the correct plastic and ball joint combination to really make these things work in the last couple of figures that they put out, so that's a really good thing. Um, so, you know, of course the legs move and you can do all sorts of crazy weird stuff, so very good articulation. Um, so, that's, uh, so, that's the sort of overall figure. Not much more to say about it other than it is a beautiful, uh, beautiful rendition of the Godzilla Earth character. Definitely one of the the best uh, figures of this design out there. Like, you, like I have the um, the band Presto here. I'm pretty sure this is actually Phileas as well. So I would like to see a, a Godzilla Earth variant of this thing. I have this. I have those Bandai vinyls. I don't have them on hand, but you know what I'm, you know the ones I'm talking about. So your basic Bandai vinyls, got stuff like the Sega. Sega have actually put out a. Um, this is also Phileas. Sega have also put out, um, you know, uh, a Godzilla Earth version. I'm not. I'm not too keen on these things. They're they're really cool, but uh, when you have the monster, I don't really have a need for that. So yeah, let's uh, before we get to our conclusions and size comparisons and all that. Let's talk about these extra things. So, uh, if you saw my unboxing, you'd have seen the first thing I pulled out. Um, and by the way, if you haven't seen my unboxing and you're curious about the packaging and all that, just watch my unboxing, because I'm not really going to cover it in this video at all, because uh, I already showed it in the unboxing. But, uh, where's a good word? There we go. That should be in focus. Here's Godzilla Phileas. This guy, but in scale. Oh man, this thing is microscopic. I, I actually really love this thing. And, you know, in the size comparison, I'll do a, a... I'll put a couple of my other really tiny Godzilla Earth figures. Because I have that, like, really tiny uh, Bandai vinyl. I'm not really sure where I have it at this exact second, but I'll show this, um, this one next to those. You can see, this thing is just microscopic. What is it, like, two centimeters tall? Just, like, just a little bit under an inch for you, um, Americans out there. And it is really... Oh, sorry. Unstable table. It is really nicely detailed. Um, it's just... It's a really no... It's a very novelty item. <laughs> but it is so cute. And it's literally the smallest... Kaiju, I think we've gotten from Monster Arts. I'm not sure if any of the um, Destroy Evolution set might have been smaller. I don't think so. But this thing is <laughs> really cool. And um, you can now you have basically a whole family of these things if you picked up these figures. But what goes alongside with this one is the uh, one of the 
people's spaceships or just ships, whatever they, I forgot what, which ones these specifically were from the anime, but we got one of these ships and, you know, it's got the Tamashi stand and everything, and take it off and I can show you guys. Um, so it looks a bit overexposed on the camera, but it, it is nicely detailed, it's uh, very well painted, very simple, but it does actually, it's really cool because it actually has little moving turrets here on both on the uh, on the top and the, both these sides and it has you know some uh, cast details and and just some simple paintwork which really bring this thing to life it's actually a really decently made little accessory to go with this thing uh if you really wanted to have a nice display with uh, to recreate some of the scenes from the anime uh it's really cool to get this thing Unfortunately, we don't have an effects, um, you know, part, which is a beam. No beam for this guy. But, you know, I'm sure I've seen many people use a whole bunch of different branded beams and whole things from other figures, which seem to work really well with this guy. Um, but I don't really have any of those, particularly on hand at, at present. I'm sure I have some something that I could whip up, but, you know. And, um, yeah, so I think... We're ready to get into our size comparison, which is one of the best parts of these reviews. And since I haven't done one of these things in a while, um, I'm hoping it's going to turn out well and that you guys still would enjoy it. So uh, without further ado, here is the size comparison. As you saw, this guy is basically identical size-wise to Phileas here. Just kind of a shame. I was really hoping they would, you know, this if that they can make this one particularly big, especially since this one did cost more because I think it was a web exclusive, whereas this one was for its size and the detail in the sculpt was, you know, um, just the bare basic price of a normal monster arts, and yet we got this fantastic uh, Phileas figure here. And this one came out, it had a little bit of a pretty big up price compared to this one, uh, since it was so exclusive. And we still get a figure that is the same size and basically the same figure, with just two little accessories and a slightly more pointy jaw. However, is it worth it? Um, that was a, kind of a hard decision, like... Until I watched um, the the third part of the anime and I kind of, you know, saw the whole thing and got really hyped for this this Godzilla design, uh, seeing that, because, you know, I actually did enjoy that anime. And I thought, you know what, I don't have a proper Godzilla Earth figure. I want to I wanna have one of those in my collection, because all, all the vinyls and things I think that I have are of the Phileas design with the, without the spikes as, uh, you know, accentuated they are on this thing so that's what ultimately um you know made me decide to, to to go for it and pick up this guy and no regrets here i actually really love this thing whether it's better than than phileas is debatable uh, there are things on each one of them that i like and they're both different is the main thing they actually even though they're so similar they actually succeed in having a very different feel to them uh, which is uh, really, really cool, I think. For example, the spines on, even though I, the spines on this one are beautiful, I have no complaints about them at all. Um, I do really like the sort of effects that these spines have with the shading coming from the black in the center going to a more greenish color. They look really cool, very obsidian-like. And, um, and the painted eyes on this version I really enjoyed. The tongue looks a little bit too bright for this guy, but I do like paint variation in general. So that's something that 
uh, this figure could have done a little bit more of. For example, if they did paint the eyes blue, I think that would have been fantastic. Maybe some um, other highlights here and there on the claws, or who knows what. But yeah, um, and I will repeat, if you do want to look at the rest of the body details of this thing, I just look at my um, Phileas video, it's, you know, exactly the same thing all over, except for it's uh, diff slightly different in color, aside from um, the jaw. So let's see what year this one says it's from, because I think they started making these in uh, 28, that they were releasing these in 2018, late 2018, because it, I got this thing in early 2019, uh, so, because usually a Monster Arts figures are um, listed as what type of Godzilla it is by the date, and it's a little hard to tell, because this guy was in all three episodes of the trilogy, and uh, this one's pretty much just known as Godzilla Earth, um, instead of calling him particularly Godzilla 2018 or whatever year this figure came out in. Um, but yeah, overall, I really love this figure. It's um, just been one of my favorite uh, Godzilla figures to, to look at recently. It's probably um, just because it's new, it, it sort of draws me in, but it does have a great presence. And uh, I do really enjoy this design, and it's and I I, I I like the you know the re-sculpt and this thing. However, whether you have um, if you do already have Phileas, it is a little bit of an effort to go get this thing and pay for this thing. Um, so I it, it is really a personal decision. Like um, when I was looking at reviews to try and decide whether to get this thing, it was. Um, really hard because none of them were very conclusive and I can see why because when you do have it in person you do realize that it you know it is a really cool figure so if you enjoy this figure you're definitely gonna enjoy this one but it's really up to you so, <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it for this video I actually um, if you it, definitely if you don't have Phileas I highly recommend picking this one up and especially if you are a big fan of the anime and you you can you can you can you have the ability to you can you can get both. They're both great figures. Um, but like I was saying, uh, size-wise, I do wish they made this one bigger. Or I don't know. I'm not sure if I would want them to release Phileas a little bit smaller. However, if he was in scale with say um, some of our 50 meter tall Godzillas, like the Millennium or the Showa ones. Uh, that they um, also did in, in Monster Arts, you know, they're probably around this size. You saw them in the size comparison, anyway. They made uh, this this original one that height, and this one this height. That would have been cool, too. Uh, but once we got Phileas in this height, I don't really want them to shrink him, either. So just one of those things. Kind of the same with the um, uh, Shin Godzilla... Um, Kamatakun and Shinagawa-kun, you know, the first two forms, like, we, we got the really tiny figures of those, and, um, I do, you know, in scale-wise, it works with, um, with our Shin Godzilla, kind of like this scales up with this guy, which is really cute, but, um, those figures, I, I love those kaijus, so I wish they kind of bulked the figures up to a normal monster at size, so we get more detail and stuff in there. So really it's just one of those things that uh, at the end of the day the scaling is all over the place with these things and for this thing to genuinely be in scale of anything else in the Monster Arts line it would have to be fucking massive because look how tiny this 50 meter tall Godzilla is to this thing. Get him, he could just hold him in his mouth. <laughs> oh man. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you got got any other figures that you want me to review, especially ones that I've done unboxings of but haven't gotten to the reviews yet, and you're uh, curious about those, um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, again, I've been really, really busy with stuff, um, recording music, other YouTube channels, and uh, work. <laughs> and just trying to live life in general so it is kind of, kind of hard to get these things out consistently but I've been trying and I have a whole stockpile of videos that I still have to go through and edit and post out for you guys so yeah if you do want more uh, please like and subscribe and um, yeah don't forget to put some comments down below because I always love seeing those and without further ado May all your vinyl be a radiated vinyl. Over and out.